Jake Clausen asks, what would cause a motor runaway? Props on correctly, hovers at low throttle, then takes off. All I did was go from analog to 03 and swap the motors. I love when people say all I did, and then they say the thing that blatantly is causing their problem. And Jake Clausen, I, I, I'm not, this is going to sound a little bit like I'm making fun of you and like a little bit I am, but not, not a lot. So please don't, please take it in stride. But like Jake, th there are worse examples of this. Like so people will be like, I, there was somebody I spent like a week, like going back and forth on email, trying to fix this problem. And then we finally got to the answer and it was something was broken. And he said, oh yeah, well, you know, two weeks ago I crashed it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have told me that. At the beginning. So it's like, all I did was go from analog to 03. I'd swap the motors. Well, probably something's up with these new motors. Like, are the new motors, like, ridiculously different KV? I don't know. But, like, all I did was swap the motors. Well, that's kind of a, kind of a, kind of a big thing. Um, so if you're not on, if you PID-tuned on the old motors... Go back to default PIDs because your PID and gyro settings may not be compatible with the new motors. So go back to default PIDs, go back to default filters. And if your motors are like a ridiculous KV for your voltage and your props, maybe use a motor output limit to scale them down. I would need more details about the motors, the old motors and the new motors to say for sure. Like I, I, the, the re, Jake, call, Jake, the reason I'm not like, I don't want. I don't want it to sound like like I'm going hard on you because like, oh, you replaced the motors with from a 2207 1900 kV with a different 2207 1900 kV, and I'm completely off base, and you're completely right that this change is unrelated. Just you know, sometimes other people. I can't figure out why I'm fail safing. All I did was remove the antenna from my receiver, throw it in the trash and then put a big blob of solder where it used to be. Uh, it's so weird, my range is short. Anyway, do you have any idea what's wrong? Like, yeah, I think I do. Jake Clausen says, I went from stock iFlight AOS Zing motors to the new AOS motors. Okay, well, that, Jake, that's something. The new AOS motors are much higher KV than this. That's like, they're like 2100 KV or 2050 KV. And the AOS, the iFlight Zing motors are like 1800 kV. That's a pretty big difference, especially if you're, and you're on the stock PID tune, which is all, which is, which is aggressive. So you, if you have the AOS RC bind and fly from iFlight, it has an aggressive PID tune on it. And changing those motors absolutely could be the thing that puts it over the edge. So um, I wonder if Chris Rosser has a PID tune for his AOS motors on the AOS RC bind and fly. If not, go back to the default PID tune, or you could use a motor output scale to bring the KV of the motors down, but the whole point of those motors is you want that high KV, so you know you might not wanna do that. <laughs>